Hi, uh, my name is uh, Andy Lin, and I'm the lead data scientist at Costura, an analytics startup uh, based here in New York. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about modeling at Costura. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what Costura does uh, and how we apply data science to help build stronger relationships between uh, retailers and customers. Um, so Costura is a predictive analytics platform that helps e-commerce marketing teams acquire, retain, and segment their customers. Uh, some of our customers include Fab, Bonobos, Etsy, and Living Social. Uh, Customera uh, emphasizes a uh, customer-centric approach to e-commerce. What this means is that uh, recognizing that every customer uh, or customers aren't all the same and uh, tailoring your product offerings or services and your communications around that. Uh, we like to breathe life into this idea um, by uh, illustrating hypothetical customers. Lauren in the uh, lower left uh, usually buys vintage furniture on her iPad once a week, but perhaps she hasn't been heard from in a while. Um, Walt, in the, the fellow with the eye patch, um, tends to make, say, a big fashion-oriented purchase once a week. Uh, the really great thing about uh, e-commerce is the abundance of data uh, available to, uh, uh, to uh, or abundance of data surrounding customer behavior, I guess, in general. Uh, with Costura, retailers can help identify patterns in their customer base, um, adjust their business strategies appropriately, and uh, keep their marketing efforts strong and relevant, and uh, their relationships with their customers healthy. Uh, at the foundation of Castora's analytics is uh, how we predict and model customer lifetime value, uh, or CLV, which is the total amount of revenue that a retailer can expect to earn over its lifetime with a, a given customer, um, over the duration of its relationship with a customer. Uh, with CLV and an understanding of how it varies across customers, uh, businesses can make smarter decisions about investment, uh, acquisition costs, and uh, growth strategy. We take a uh, generative modeling approach towards CLV, uh, CLV is modeled as a function of other intermediate variables, which in turn are modeled by assumed probability distributions. Uh, these modeling assumptions are intended specifically for e-commerce data. So contrast this with, say, a more generic approach uh, like linear regression. Regression has more generic assumptions, and so it could be applicable to a wider variety of data sets out of the box. Um, uh, to use a generative approach for different data sets, you'd have to study the data and come up with new reasonable assumptions for, and a new model, basically. But for our specific purposes, provided that our model does reasonably fit the dynamics of actual data generation, uh, we can produce better predictions and answer a wider variety of questions. We compute uh, CLV from uh, three intermediate variables, a customer's order size, order frequency, and a lifetime, meaning the duration of uh, his or her relationship with the retailer. Roughly speaking, CLV is uh, lifetime times rate of purchase times revenue per order. Uh, each of these intermediate variables is assumed to follow a certain statistical distribution. Uh, these distributions' parameters are further assumed to vary randomly by customers. Uh, so, for example, a customer's order placement is assumed to follow a Poisson process. The Poisson rate parameter, in turn, is assumed to vary across customers according to a gamma distribution. Uh, for those who are, happen to be familiar with uh, retail modeling, this is a basic uh, Pareto NBD model with a simple revenue model attached to it. Uh, so when we fit our uh, models for a given retailer, uh, what we are doing is fitting the quote-unquote outermost parameters um, using maximum likelihood. And equipped with this estimate of parameters uh, and a customer's order history, uh, we can calculate his or her CLV. And we can also ask and uh, answer other interesting questions about customers, such as what is the probability that we've lost Lauren as a customer? Or how likely is it that Walt is going to be one of our most valuable customers? And if the retailer uh, supplies additional data on customer segmentation, we can come up with further insights. Uh, so one example of one such insight is to see how CLV varies by acquisition channel. Uh, customers acquired through email, uh, search ads, social network ads, uh, daily deal websites, et cetera. Uh, the exact numbers are going to vary by retailer. But uh, in June of this year, across an aggregation of our data, we found that uh, organic search, not surprisingly, tends to produce very high value customers. But more surprisingly, that Email it doesn't perform too badly as an acquisition channel, outpacing uh, newfangled sources like Twitter. Uh, now, perhaps this means that email is inherently a better medium for marketing, um, but perhaps it also means that retailers haven't figured out yet, quite yet how to use Twitter effectively. Uh, either way, uh, it's useful to consider when uh, thinking about budgeting for acquisition. Insights alone are nice, but uh, what we really need at the end of the day is a way to take 
action on them. Uh, one segment that Castora calculates for all its customers is uh, risk status. What is the probability that we've lost a customer's business, uh, you know, safely low or dangerously high? With a generative approach, we can uh, recast this question in terms of the mathematics of our model. Um, what is the probability that the customer's lifetime is smaller than the time since his or her first transaction? We can compute this as we would with CLV, with our fitted parameters, and with the customer's order history. Uh, Castora also allows retailers to link marketing campaigns to uh, risk status. With additional segmentation info, they can tailor their strategies accordingly so that a retailer can communicate with an at-risk customer, like Lauren, uh, about vintage furniture, which he likes, rather than with impersonal, irrelevant offers that could turn her off further. Anyway, uh, that's it. If you'd like to learn more about Castora, please visit our site. Um, follow us on Twitter at Castora or reach out to me at andy at Thanks very much.